When you're in your late 30s, mm. what's your biggest nightmare? Mm. Maybe turning 40? <laughs> <laughs> We're already in your late 30s. Yes. <laughs> or, it's, like, it's only a few years. Yeah. It's coming. Or even worse than that is getting a call from old Alan Winterbottom. Oh, no. no. Letting you know that he's dating your mom now. What? And he needs some hot tips on how to make mama happy. No. No. I mean, what would no. you say to Alan? Because uh, that's what we try today when we call one guy. And you're not going to believe this. He was not helpful. Uh, How no. rude. He didn't have any tips. It's your phone tap <laughs> right now. Hello? Hey. Was good, brah? It's me. <laughs> Who's you? Hello? Hi. Yeah. Who is this? You're you're Corey, yeah. Yeah, I'm Corey. Ju- Julie's son. Hello. Julie, my, how do you know my mom? Yeah, I I'm Alan. Alan Winterbottom. I'm your new dad. Oh. What are you talking about, man? I didn't she tell you that you, your mom Julie she she's got a new man? Oh. Yeah, she told me, but I mean, why are you calling? That's me. I'm 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 Alan. Oh. Alan, you sound a lot older than uh, I was expecting. My mom's in oh. her late sixties. Yeah, I know. I bagged a young one. <laughs> it's good for me. <laughs> yeah, what are you on, like a respirator or something? You're like ninety. How old are you? I'm eighty-eight years young. Thank you very much. Oh. And I just I I need your help because I know your mother has a birthday coming up here. Uh. Yeah, she does. She does. Right. So I, I, I want. I got my number. She gave me your number, but she, why? Well, I she doesn't know this <laughs> yet, but I wanted to do something nice and special for her. Okay, I you like know, that idea. Treat her like a real lady, mm-hmm. not like one of them backstairs types of gals. <laughs> you know the ones. <laughs> well, what are you thinking, Alan? What are you thinking? Well, I'm asking for your help. You know her probably better than anyone. Yeah, I do. What What do you think she would like? Cause you know, I was thinking I could make one of them, um, you know, romantic coupon books where all the tickets are one day passes to Pound Town. Come on, dude, you're crossing the line, Pound Town. Why are you saying this? That That's what we do. You need to shut up, old man. Like Whoa. you're calling me out of the blue. What? Like you, you, need to, you need to have some boundaries, and you're and you're definitely. Wait, crossing. Excuse me, I, I'm trying to give your mother a compliment because she's a regular Lauren Bacall. I don't even know who the f- that is, no, man. You remember Lauren? I had her pinup poster on my wall back when I was in the Navy. When was that? Like eighteen hundred? Oh. <laughs> oh, you're so freaking funny. You got jokes, huh? You're the guy calling me, man. Like, I mean, I don't get it. Okay, get, keep your voice down. Gosh, I'm I'm hungover. That's, that's you're hearing? I had too many. I had one too many Roy Rogers last night. My head's pounding like a tin roof in a Texas hailstorm. Well, maybe I need to keep up my voice. Say it again. Lo- loser says what now? Loser says what? Who yeah, are exactly. you? Exactly. Get your head out of your ass and figure it out. You don't need to be calling. You, you up got a smart mouth on you, don't you? I want, I want to slap you right across the head. What are you gonna do, old man? Do I need to lay you down? The, yeah, the... I, I bet you'd like to lay down with a lot of older men, don't you? <laughs> no, dude, this isn't. This yeah, isn't. You keep giving me lip. I'll introduce you to my fist, Percy Lewis and the Bang Bang Crew. <laughs> You keep using these references from, like, what, eons ago. I don't even get these references. Like, what, you want me to talk like a Gen Z? Because I eat hella riz like you for breakfast. Put on your orthopedic shoes and just take a f- take a walk, buddy. I would get my shoes, but I left them in your mother's room last night. You know what, man? I don't even understand, like, how my mom would even, like, mess with you. Well, I'll show you exactly how she messes with me. I'll come over there right now and mess your face up oh. like George Foreman did to Ali in the Rumble in the Jungle. Oh. That was a good one. I would love for you to show up to the front of my apartment. I got other anger issues I can resolve. You sound more like a backdoor kind of man, but I'll come to the front if that's what you want to do. What are you talking about? You, you sound cynical. You sound delusional. You I, do I sound cynical or do I sound like a radio host on the show, Brooke and Jeffrey, in the morning? Because this is a phone tap, my friend. It's a prank. Oh, God, you got me on a f- prank.
prank call right now. <laughs> yeah. dude. I'm over here getting like flustered, like, all right, this old guy really wants to come over. I'm gonna kick his <laughs> feel bad that I kick some old dude's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Your mom Julie is the one who asked us to call you. It was her <laughs> idea, man. She listens to our show. And she thought it'd be really funny to prank her son, so she made up having a boyfriend. She's not seeing anybody uh, right now. You guys are good. You guys are good. <laughs> <laughs>